Staffpad features a few different ways to work with chords. For lead sheets, the easiest way is to simply type the chords above the staff. I have a staff here with melody and lyrics. I can long press above the staff and choose insert chord. Now I'll type my chords in using the most common short form conventions with the keyboard. Pressing the spacebar will advance me to the next note or beat. So these chords won't play back, but they do transpose. So if I were to transpose this song up a major second to G major, you'll see the chords change as well. Chords on a staff need something to snap or lock their position onto. If I don't want to define a specific notation for a staff, I could always add rhythm slashes to the bar to create those beat markers and attach the chords to them instead. There's a full list of chords that Staffpad will interpret for you on the help website, but the idea is that you can just type chords like you're used to and the app will interpret them for you. If you have a particular part that you'd like to quickly generate chords for, perhaps you've already written out a guitar part or a written piano part, for example, you don't have to type the chords in manually. Staffpad will automatically analyze and add chord symbols for you. All you do is toggle the Show Chords option from the Edit Staff dialog. You can edit these chords, erase them, and they update automatically if I change the notation. This can save a lot of time. If I just want to create a chord chart or block out a song, I can use the chord staff on a new score. You'll find this under the utility staff category. Now these grey lines are beat markers, and you can just tap on one with your finger to add a chord symbol there. Again, press spacebar to quickly move to the next beat marker. I can copy and paste chords on the chord staff, like any other staff, uh, so it can be a really quick way of blocking out your song. If you add a chord staff to an existing piece, Staffpad analyzes the harmony of the entire score, taking into account non-pitched, uh, octave transpositions, uh, chromatic passing notes and other things, and condenses it down to some easy to read chord symbols. I can actually choose the complexity and the accuracy of this harmonic analysis by tapping the chord staff name and increasing the complexity slider. This can be really useful to see a harmonic overview of your piece, but one of the other nice things about the chord staff is that it prints or displays on the reader as a chord chart. So I'll head to print here, set my page to A4, maybe four bars per line, and I've got a really usable chord chart. I hope you'll agree that the various ways of working with chords and staff pad are powerful and flexible. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.